This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm taking a look at Squid, which is a note taking app that I've been testing with my Galaxy Tab A with S Pen. Now, so far in previous videos, I've taken a look at S Note, which is a note taking app designed specifically for the Galaxy devices that include an S Pen. I've made a video about lecture notes and squid that I'm going to take a look at today, you'll see first impressions are it's a more uh, polished user interface similar to S Note. And the first thing that jumped out at me is the little cast, it'll focus, that you can cast this to a smart TV or a Chromecast. So I'm going to demonstrate that here today. It's got a nice tutorial that I went through. Uh, you can dismiss it and get that off your home screen when you're done with it. Um, like S Note, uh, it appears that um, your notebooks, you don't have a, a very elaborate file system. Um, lecture notes, that was one of the benefits of it, is that you could organize your notebooks into file folders. Now, you can import a PDF, you can create a note, or create a default note. I'm going to go ahead and just create a note. You can choose what kind of page ruling you want. Uh, this is a free app, but to get some of the more uh, premium uh, page designs, you have to pay extra for it. But the base app itself, you get blank, college ruled, wide ruled, and narrow ruled. I'm going to go with the, I guess I'll go with college ruled. And you, you can title the note up here. Let's go ahead and give it a name. Um, I'll call it Math Notes. And I'm going to go ahead and select that I'm going to cast it to my TV. And I probably can't see very much. Let me go ahead and start writing. There, yeah, you can see that. And I just thought that was a really cool feature to have especially when we're using this around the house for studying for tests and working on math problems. I thought this was really cool. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Okay, and you've got the back undo and redo buttons. On lecture notes, they had an undo button, but I didn't see a redo button. That was a, a downside of that. Uh, S Notes does have the undo and redo up in the menu. The pen is pressure sensitive and you have, you know, very granular control of the line width. Let's test this. So you can see how the pressure sensitivity works. That works really well. Um, you can choose between, now you don't have as many pen choices as you do on S Note. You've got a pen and a highlighter, but the highlighter you have to pay to upgrade to that. So for free, you do get a pen. And let's see, you can turn the pressure sensitivity off and it's just a solid line. That's nice. You can choose colors. You can choose how bright or dim it is. Um, let's 
see. Okay, and you can choose areas of the screen to select and move. That's nice. You can go back. Well, hold on. Let me do that again. And you can cut and paste. Oh, you can change the line width after the fact. I'll make it wider. That's kind of nice. Let's see what else we had. You can cut and you can throw it in the trash. You can copy. That's nice. You can change the color after the fact. Um, let's see. I'm going to go back to, there's pen and there's also eraser. You can choose the size of your eraser. Now you can also, let's see how well that works. On S note, we had some issues with choosing the size of your eraser. Okay. So there's a big blocky eraser. I'm going to make it smaller. Oh, it does. Hold on. It's erasing the entire line like it did on S note. Okay. If you want to erase just the a small area, you have to pay to upgrade to that. So the eraser you get, you can change the size of it, but it erases the entire pen stroke. And that's similar to S note. That's what S note did. Let's see. If you want to do shapes, you have to pay for that. Let me do that. Highlighters, shapes, or text. If you want to type text, that's a paid upgrade. So, And I never use the text on S Notes. So, so far, all of the features that this has... Um, this basic version are the main ones that I use. Now, Lecture Notes was kind of clunky when it came to turning pages. This is more like S Note. I've got two pages here that I can switch back and forth between. And when I'm on page two, if I go far further, it just adds another page. Let's see. Page actions. I can insert pages. I can insert PDFs. Um, it's not going to let me clear an entire page. Let me. Well, let me see. There's nothing on this page to clear. Um, okay. Now that there's stuff on it, it'll let me select items or clear the page. Let's see what else we have. Page settings. You can uh, change the size of the page. You can change the background. So overall, this is very similar to S Note, except you can cast it onto a TV or another smart device. Anything with a Chromecast. I really like this and. And the, like I said, the user interface is a little more polished than the lecture notes was. Let's see what it looks like when we get out of here. Okay, and it doesn't, it doesn't, one downside, if you like having notebook covers, this, you just see the first page of the note. Let me see if there's a way to change that. You can rename it. You can move it. I'm not going to select that. I bet it's probably something like you can move it to another file on your device. Let me see. Okay. So this is similar to S Note. Um, not exactly the same, but I do like that you can cast it up on the screen. Well, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.